We have some of our favorites here. We're so excited to catch up with two of the biggest names in country music, Dan and Shay. The dynamic duo has been treating us to a fantastic plaza concert this morning with a little rain. A little bit. And they still have one more song to come, a Grammy-winning classic. But first, we want to talk to them a bit, so they've come inside before they perform one more song. Good to see you guys. Great so to see, good you, to see you guys, man. So uh, earlier, you guys performed Bigger Houses and, and uh, Save Me the Trouble for the first time in front of an audience. What was that like? I was kind of nervous, honestly. When we went out there to sound check, I had to tell the fans, I was like, okay, guys, you need to sing these songs back to us very loudly. And they did. <laughs> they did. They were yeah. rocking. They've only been out for, what, like four or five days now. So they were singing them back, and uh, our fans always have our backs. Does that amaze you that in, in four or five days they know the lyrics Everywhere. to all these songs? Our fans have always been amazing like that. I've always been blown away every time. I'm already, like, surprised. I shouldn't be surprised at this point that they learn them so quickly. I remember there was a time that we put out, I was actually Speechless. Uh, whenever Speechless had come out, it had been literally out for, I think, the night. And yeah. We played a show the next day, and there was just everybody knew every single lyric. That's we were just like That was a big part of why we why we picked that as a single because That's the reaction. Cool. And they do that on every song. Though. Somebody on our team's paying them to learn the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dollar passing yeah. around. Yes. Make the guys feel good. Yeah. Yeah. You guys have performed in like every conceivable Today Show space. Uh, next time it'll be backstage, behind the scenes, perfect, inside, outside. But I was trying to remember the last time you guys did outside was around the time of your arena tour in 2021, and it was a huge success. But you guys have not been shy about talking about how it took a toll on the two of you. I, I wondered what you guys learned from that experience. Yeah, it was that was a tough couple of years for us. You know, we had been a band for almost 10 years at that point, and, you know, you throw COVID in there, which is a crazy couple of years, and being in a duo is very difficult. It's like a marriage. Mm -hmm. If you don't go out of your way to work on it and nurture that relationship, things can fall apart. Mm -hmm. And just oh, like... that's how you do it? Oh, good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's a little bit of advice. Yeah, here we okay, go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's something that we realized that we needed to spend more time focusing on. And, you know, after 10 years, we were like, we've got an amazing fan base. We owe it to them to get ourselves right personally, get ourselves our relationship right. We sat down one night, hashed everything out, and we, we made a goal, you know, moving forward. We want to spend a few days at least with each other. If we're not on the road, get back in the room, write songs. Let's hang out like we did 10 years ago mm -hmm. when we met, because that's where the magic was. And if you don't go out of your way to do that, things can go by the wayside, and we did. And it was one of the most incredible few months of my entire life. You know, we wrote, accidentally wrote, I think our best album of our career wow. because of that. And our relationship is stronger than it's ever been. And yeah. I think when the fans hear this album, I think they're going to, whether they're listening for it or not, going to be able to hear that. Yeah. How much influence did that whole period of, of your friendship play into this album? I think, I mean, everything that you go through kind of bleeds into the music when it's genuine. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that there's traces of that all through this album. And uh, the biggest thing that I feel like we have on this this entire project is it's continuity. It's all, it's all very connected uh, to one another, and you can feel it through the music. And I think you can feel kind of where we got to in our relationship mm -hmm. through the music. And there's just something that's intangible that you can't quite describe, but right. we've been doing this for a long time, and we know when something is genuine and when it's not. Mm -hmm. and, and our fans know that, and people know that. And I think there's been such a big reaction to songs like Save Me the Trouble and Heartbreak on the Map and Bigger Houses especially uh, because they know it's genuine. And, and whenever we, yeah. we sing it, you know, they can, they can feel that we believe that we're, you know, when we're, we believe what we're singing. Mm -hmm. And that's an important it's thing uh, whenever you, yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy how much that really plays a part mm -hmm. in it. So very, very exciting stuff to be a part of all of this. Yeah. It's just incredible. Your youngest is, I think, six months old now. Yeah. Uh, I, I travel all the time. Jacob travels all the time. H how do you guys do deal with that and also kind of you know look after the family it's kind of crazy you know you definitely have to i mean this was kind of a part of dan and i's journey of making mm -hmm. sure that you know, that's been my focus over the last couple of years is living in the now mm -hmm. you know i feel like i've spent my whole life looking forward or you know to something to come or you know looking back on something and being like man that was those were the glory days you know and i feel like you really have to live in the moment and be present and mm -hmm. every time that uh, even if it's a little bit of time that i get to spend with my, t my family we make sure that it is real time, and I put down my phone, and you know I think we all can work on that. It's not <laughs> something that we ever get right 100% of the time, and I think that uh, it's just all about your focus and making sure that we're living in the now because this is all we're going to have is this okay. moment right here, and uh, and we can't look back and can't look too far ahead. We have to appreciate the moments that we get, like this one. With, with well, and yeah. we always love when you're here, and yeah. we love the idea that you guys are going to be the first duo coaching pair ever on The Voice. We're so <laughs> pumped. It's crazy. Wait, I'm so glad this you is guys explain. Well, look at this. This is the first picture. Is this, picture. Our chair? Oh, this, this is an actual picture. That's real? That's it. Yeah. That's a real we haven't one. seen a picture of that yet. <laughs> Two 
I feel like we're saving it for wow. this moment. Two adjoining chairs with one buzzer? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Who presses the buzzer? It's built in comedy. It's perfect. Uh, yeah. We'll see. This Tune is into the voice. start a new fight. Right, exactly. This is going to be, this gonna be the demise of Dan and Shay right here. <laughs> got ourselves right, and then the voice comes so in. You guys, yeah. You've got to agree on hitting the button. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a, an the, interesting in dynamic. We right. haven't started. That was the first time we saw the chair. Oh, really? Yes. I, we've seen Literally, like, that's the first picture. We've seen like little graphics. Really? Put it back up. There it is. Look at that. Let's check it out. Come oh. on. I can do. Oh, I yeah. You can it. do like tricks it. on that chair. I feel like I could. you could sit on the top of this. There's a lot of room. A lot of room. A lot of room. You've got to press the button and get your guys performing. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.